We're celebrating National Belly Dancing Day this week on Studio 209. Studio 209. My name is Annika. My stage name is Annika Frida. I have been belly dancing for about eight years. I have no dance background. I did no sports in school. I have been pretty uncoordinated until I started belly dancing. Belly dancing comes from the Manat region, which is Middle Eastern, North African, and Turkey. There's really a whole range of folkloric and modern dances that have gone into forming what is modern belly dance. The first class I took was with Nadira of Seattle. She does American cabaret style and more Egyptian cabaret style belly dance. I had been learning online uh, American tribal style belly dance and I thought I had the moves down really well. And my first class, uh, I had no idea what the Arabic rhythms were and it was a little intimidating. <laughs> Western style music has more predictable rhythm patterns of like 3-4 or 4-4 four, four time uh, within one Arabic song that can last for up to half an hour to an hour. They have many rhythms, that seven eighths, uh, you know, like eight sixteenths. It's, it changes so often. My favorite thing about performing belly dance is sharing the Arabic music with people and translating the music into something visual. It's like when you are with your favorite people, that feeling you get when you're talking and everyone's listening to what you're saying and they're looking at you trying to understand you. Everyone gets into that mood of the song with you and if it's a happy song, people want to get up and dance. If it's a sad song, people hold themselves. I started teaching at Alegria Ballroom here in Turlock. I think it's a great way to get to know your body and appreciate the way it moves no matter how you're looking and feeling on that particular day. The best thing about belly dance is you can eat a bag of chips and chug a bunch of water and jiggle your cares away. <laughs> Lift a shoulder almost like you're shrugging it and you're gonna follow through with your elbow, your wrist, and allow your fingers to float through. Once I lift my right arm up and it begins to float down, I will lift my left shoulder up, follow through with the elbow. So I'm going to just alternate back and forth. First you're going to contract in the upper abs, then you will contract the middle abs in, and then the lower abs. And as you're pulling in the middle, then lower, you relax the upper. Basically you only have one group of muscles engaged at a time. So I'm going to pull in upper, middle, lower. This is one of, I think, Shakira's signature movements, one of those eye-popping things that like really makes you think, oh, belly dancing. So we're gonna roll our shoulders back, we'll bring our arms up, keep our head in check. Our feet are gonna be kind of like a fist width apart and we need soft knees, so slightly bent. From your bent knees, you're going to straighten one knee and allow your hip to lift. When I straighten the knee, my hip naturally lifts up. We're allowing our hips to absorb the shock of our leg movement. Once you get your movements down where they're really strong on their own, then you can start putting them together. 